Hello and welcome to this learning video. In the last learning video, we have seen some of the definitions of uh, mathematical expectation for discrete random variable and the continuous random variable followed by the mean, variance and standard deviation. Here in this learning video, we are going to deal with some of the uh, elementary properties of variance. So the first property says if c is any constant then we have to prove variance of cx is c square variance of x. So let us recollect first of all the property of expectation. We know that expectation of cx is nothing but c times expectation of x and what is expectation of x? We denote it by mu. Okay, so you need to remember this. Now, uh, we have to prove this equal to this. So, we start with the left hand side. Therefore, variance of Cx is equal to, what is variance of Cx? It is nothing but expectation of, if it is x we write, if it is x we write x minus mu whole square, but it is Cx, so we write C times, or you can write Cx times C mu whole square okay now using this property of expectation I can write expectation of c square x minus mu whole square which can be written as c square by property this expectation of x minus mu whole square so this is c square what is this x minus mu whole square that is the definition of variance of x so hence the result variance of cx is c square variance of x. So this is just the first property. Now let us take the second property that we have to prove. So we have the second property on uh, variance of variance of what is it? Okay, variance of x is equal to expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square okay so let me uh, tell you one thing when we have discussed the definition of variance in the previous video i have forget to write x square i have written x okay so please make the cor correction so here we have so we are going to start with the definition of variance so by the definition of variance by the definition of by the definition of variance by the definition of variance we have what we have by the definition of variance yes variance of x is equal to expectation of x minus mu whole square that is the definition we have now expand this this is expo, uh, expectation of x square minus 2 x mu plus mu square right now we know that the expectation we take expectation of variable not the constant so this is expectation of x square minus 2 mu expectation of x plus mu square because expectation of constant is constant time expectation of 1 and expectation of 1 is 1 so you can write this as mu okay and here you can write expectation of x is equal to mu so this is expectation of x square minus 2 mu into mu plus mu square so this is nothing but expectation of x square minus mu square and if you are not getting the feeling of this result so you can replace mu by expectation of x that is variance of x is equal to expectation of x square minus what is mu expectation of x whole square okay so this is the second property that we have uh, just proved now see the third property and for third property i have to remove this entirely so third property is 
property number three if x and y if x and y are if x and y are independent random variable this is very important independent random variable because we are going to make use of this as a independent random variables then prove that then prove that variance of x plus y is equal to variance of x plus variance of y that is sigma square of x plus y is equal to sigma x square plus sigma y square okay so that is what we have to prove so let us start with so let us start with the proof of this as let expectation of x be denoted by mu1 and expectation of y we denote it by mu2 then what would be expectation of x plus y then expectation of x plus y is equal to mu1 plus mu2 okay mu1 plus mu2 now what we have to prove we have to prove variance of x plus y is equal to variance of x plus variance of y so let us start with the left hand side therefore variance of x plus y is equal to what is the definition of variance in terms of expectation that is expectation of x plus y minus mean of x mean of y so mu1 plus mu2 whole square okay so this can be written as expectation of now i can solve this like x minus mu1 x minus mu1 plus y minus mu2 whole square okay now apply the formula when you apply the formula for this you will be getting expectation of what is it x minus mu1 whole square plus 2 plus 2 what is it plus 2 x minus mu1 into y minus mu2 plus y minus mu2 whole square okay so we have just expanded this now you can do is just separate the expectation so this is expectation of x minus mu1 square plus 2 times expectation of x minus mu1 into expectation of y minus mu2 plus expectation of y minus mu2 whole square okay by the definition of this this can be written as expectation of x minus mu you can write like this if you want okay here also you can write like this so this is nothing but variance of x this is 2 into 0 into 0 plus variance of y why this is 0 because if you have two independent two independent random variable then expectation of x minus mu1 is 0 and expectation of y minus mu2 is also 0 if you want how this expectation of x minus mu1 is 0 i can write it here since expectation of x minus mu1 is equal to expectation of x minus mu1 into expectation of 1 is 1 so what is expectation of x mu1 minus mu1 which comes out to be 0 okay so what is this so we have proof that variance of x plus y is equal to variance of x plus 
variance of y okay now i want you to solve uh, one property which says variance of x minus y is also same okay so this is the property that i wanted you to solve so solve this property variance of x minus y is equal to variance of x plus variance of y okay so i hope uh, you are getting these uh, properties nicely so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day thank you